Hello and welcome to HD Free to Play. Today I'm taking a look at Hollow Drive. Now, this is a game I have actually played before. It's made by a bunch of guys called Bitcake Development. And, uh, well, it used to be called Project Tilt. It's been in development about two years now. Uh, I'm not too sure why they keep changing the name because, well, I suppose every time they do, they probably lose quite a lot of their following and it's not a big game as it is. Um, however, it should be because it's, well, it's pretty damn good. Now, the way it works is it's kind of a hybrid between Soldat, if anyone played that, again another unknown gem, but Soldat and Quake. Um, the power-ups and the uh, pickups of the guns, they're like Quake, and the actual movement and design is like Soldat. But um, what we're going to do, check out the main menu first. Uh, you can see here the profile screen, you can see me here, level 9. Now, the uh, the stats don't actually seem to be working, or at least they don't update very often, because I've, well, I've played more than one match and I've... Well, it's, uh, it only says one match, but um, there's a missions tab, so you can do various things each day. day. So, um, you know, you might have to get 10 sniper kills or something like that. Let's uh, move on to the items screen here. Now, this is where you'll get all your different packs. It's, um, it's kind of like a randomized item system, so you, with your winnings from your like, leveling up and with the currency you get down here, you will buy these packs and you can get various items, uh, clothing and uh, weapons. We'll, we'll talk about the weapons a bit later because that's one of the, uh, the negatives about this game. Um, but yeah, you've got your packs, you can see different albums. I like it how they've got uh, various nods to things. For example, end of line, this was the first item that I got. And these are these, uh, these, are these arms here. And if you could see uh, that, you'll notice it's very Tron. And of course, the uh, the club in Tron is called the End of Line Club. So little uh, little nods and references in there. There's other things as well, like... Um, where is it? Yeah, there's various things. Trust me, if you if you know like your, your gaming culture, you'll like quite a lot of the, uh, the nods and references they've put here. And you can obviously uh, choose your loadout. Now, this... Um, I don't know. I don't know why they've done this. It's a very, very bad idea. Basically, you've got your standard weapons here, and then you can actually get in these packs different weapons. Now, I'm going to go over this first. It's it's the it's the one negative with the game, and it is a real negative. Why would you give people different weapons? I, I wouldn't even mind, right? Say this sniper. You can get a sniper, then you can get a dematerializer and an arcane bow. Even if those were exactly the same, and they were just sort of skins... That, that would be okay, you could do that. However, because they act differently, and because in some person, people's eyes, even if they're not meant to be, in some people's eyes, if they could get a different weapon, that's how they will have died. They will have died because that person had a better weapon than them and they paid for it. It doesn't matter the fact that, well, I mean, Intimidator. Let's see the Intimidator. The standard version, the plasma gun. Okay? So, the default fast-firing weapon for every beginner bot... The longer you fire, the more damage it causes. Basically, it's like a machine gun. Now, I've got a version called the Intimidator. Now, this one doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that it doesn't charge up and it doesn't do more damage. Instead, this one, the bullets bounce, okay? But people will see that, because they've not got the Intimidator, as a pay-to-win feature. And if you look on the uh, the Steam reviews, the main thing that's caused right now by the... Well, it's got about 78% rating, which is good with Steam reviews, especially for a what will be a free-to-play game. But, the fact that it's got these bad reviews, and it's all down to the people saying, Oh, pay to win, pay to win. It's not pay to win. But because they've put in these different weapon variants, it seems pay to win. If they want to do it like that, at least unlock all the variants for everyone. It's the only way to do it. If you want to put in skins for the guns, do that. But don't put variant weapons that people haven't got. Because they're instantly going to see that and think, Oh, pay to win. Because they're idiots. But... That's the, uh, <laughs> anyway, after that little rant, that's the, uh, the negative. Should we actually uh, see some of the game? Sounds pretty good, eh? Right, uh, yeah, you got your story, playing. Let's just jump into a game. Okay, so straight away, right into a game. No messing around, finding a session. Just boom, there you go, off you go. Now, this is the collector game mode. Um, standard controls, W, A, S, and D to move. Mouse to aim. You've got a little jetpack here, just like Soldat. And uh, you've got your little radar here. So you've got your health, you've got your jetpack boost, and with the orange uh, arrows, you can see where you're, uh, well, see where the enemies are. Let's go straight into it then. So this is the collector game mode. Basically, the way this plays is, um, well, you run out into the main sort of field, get your kills. Once you've got your kills, you actually collect these orbs, and you're meant to go and take them back. Now... What you can do is you can either go in and just play it as a deathmatch and occasionally run back and collect the orbs. Or, what I like to do, if they've got um, if they've got stuff to go on, you can actually attack their base. So they'll have come back here, 
try to deliver all these orbs and your job go and get the orbs from the base so it's it's a bit of a mixture between say uh, capture the flag and deathmatch and it works really well actually um, quite a lot of people don't actually know how to play it because uh, well <laughs> they just seem to run around in the middle not collecting the orbs at all but um, this guy's attacking our base with no orbs to get winner let's collect those so now we can deliver nine orbs and it puts our score up by nine so yeah Pretty, uh, pretty simple mechanics, but um, well, again, some people don't get it. <laughs> There's a little PSA for anyone playing this game at the moment. Who, um, uh, right, we've got this laser gun. Let's collect the power-ups. <laughs> right, so um, yeah, basically, it works like that. Let's um, let's just watch a bit of gameplay. I'll uh, try and play as as least shit as possible. But yeah, you see, I've just collected the the, the intimidator, and that. What normally happens is with the plasma gun, as you keep firing it, the damage does more and more and more. With this version, the bullets bounce. Now, that's not a major difference. I mean, you know, depending on what you're doing, I mean, I'd actually, with a gun that's like that, which is designed to be a machine gun, you'd think with the bullets doing more and more damage, that would be better. That is the better version. But simply because it's different and something someone else can't have, they're, they're, you know, they're using that as a, as a way to, well, mark the game down. Let's uh, collect some of this base. I think it's actually best to shoot a machine gun on this one. Collect all the orbs. Here we go, here we go. So we've just collected all their stuff and now we've just got to basically get back as quick as possible. Run! He's trying to steal our orbs. Let's take him out. Good enough of that. Here we go. And bank him. And that's us. We've, we've won that easy. Okay. So we'll finish this one off and I'll show you a bit of just the standard deathmatch gameplay. The uh, the map design and the uh, sort of um, you know the visuals as it were they're all pretty much the same. All the maps work the same. Uh, you might have noticed that there's actually no music in the background of the the game as it were. You get a bit of music after these. And uh, well, this this one's quite interesting as well with the uh, with the scoreboard, the final screen here. You do get to uh, well run around and shoot the people in it. Well, it works a bit like Counter Strike where the other people can't fight back. So if you want to be a real arsehole, you can uh, of course do that. You get a little screen here, just telling you who's uh, who's the best, and that's obviously me. Uh, <laughs> and then you can, uh, of course, vote for your next map. Now you'll see that come up in a bit. You see a little level up screen there. You get some bits for leveling up. Uh, at the moment, it's about a hundred bits for every um, every orb or pack to try and get an item. And well, you get well ten back, ten bits a, a level. Let's just do some normal deathmatch. I don't really want to play Collectors again, even though it is a, a fun game mode. Most people don't really understand how to play it. But Deathmatch is, uh, well, everyone's, everyone knows Deathmatch. Okay, so, you get a little loading screen here. You get your, you know, a little bit of a tip. Jump platforms will make you go super high. Cheers, lads. Thanks for that useful info. <laughs> There's a, there is a bit of a tutorial at the start. And, um, oy, um, yeah, basically with the tutorial, um, it well, shows you how to play. Um, it's very, very, you know, you pick up and play though. You can understand what's happening almost as soon as you've uh, started the game. Even with the power-ups, the power-ups are pretty much self-explanatory. I'll show you what they do in a minute. After I die. Nope. Let's get out of there. Let's get some health. Almost. <laughs> right. I like how you get a little, um, you know, just a little death cam as well. Like, you know, who's killed you. So obviously they can see you in uh, in cloves and go, Pay to win! Pay to win! Because they're idiots. But uh, <laughs> here we go. So pick up my Intimidator. Let's, um, let's get a power up. Show you how they work. See it roll in the corner, kind of like Super Mario. And uh, well, after saying everything's pretty self-explanatory, that one actually isn't. But um, it looks like a force field. So I'm guessing that's what that was. Uh, let's try something else. I'm just going to try and show the power up. Oh, oh it's a sniper in it. Oh. Here we go. Let's use that bounce. See. I tried to use the bounce. If I'd have just had the normal plasma gun, I probably would have been in then. But because <laughs> because I've got pay to win weapons, um, I still don't. I don't know why the designers do it like that. They, they, they're just causing themselves hassle. Just unlock all the variants for everyone. Make skins for different items. As soon as you give someone a, a weapon, even if it's a variant that someone else can't have, it's pay to win. Well, I don't know why you'd put yourselves through that. As you know, an early game. 
you know, you've, you're just trying to get as many people in as possible. You want every single good review on Steam you can. And people saying the game's pay to win is just not going to help. Um, you can see here we've got a double damage. <laughs> I don't know if this is more of a uh, review of the game for you guys that haven't played it or more of a shout at the developers. But, um, <laughs> oh dear. Right, we've got a double damage. There you go. Oh, oh. Hey. That's a good thing about these tunnels as well, um, very good for sort of tactical plays. If you've got, say, the sniper, you can stick in them tunnels, and obviously you can see out the tunnels, but they can't see in. Um, apparently, I've not got this one yet, but apparently there was a bazooka weapon where you can... Uh, I, just, I don't know, I can't remember what it was. It was either fire in the tunnels or see through the tunnels, something. Apparently someone, someone on the Steam reviews thought that was very pay-to-win, but um, there we go. Right... Oops. Oh, sorry if that just flashed up there. Just carrying on with this. Um, but yeah, but, but overall, I mean, if you like your sold at, or you like Quake, and you just want to try something a bit new, you know, why not pick this up? I mean, at the moment, it is um, it is about £7. It's going to be a free-to-play game when it comes out fully, but at the moment, it is, uh, it is a £7 purchase. And what you get for that £7 is not too bad, to be honest. Um, hey, see how your colours change when you get the double damage. That's pretty cool. Yeah, at the moment, the uh, the seven pounds isn't too bad. Um, obviously, it's going to be free to play soon. You might have played it already as uh, Project Hill when it was called that. But um, no, I mean, you get two different costumes. I've mixed and matched a bit of both of them. One of the costumes, if you're on the Steam um, version of the game, which well, I'm assuming everyone who's going to buy it will be, um, you get the uh, you get the scout from Team Fortress Two, which looks pretty cool. Um, but yeah, overall, really, really fun game. The designers have just well, just basically made some bad decisions. Um, Anyone that knows free-to-play gaming knows that you can't make your game seem pay-to-win. I mean, you could make it underhandedly pay-to-win if you want, but you can't make it seem outright that this guy's got a better weapon than you and you can't get that weapon yet. It, it just, you can't do that. Um, <laughs> anyway, guys, that's enough of that. If you like Project Tilt and you want to play it, there's obviously it's available on Steam, and if not, I do actually have a giveaway on at the moment. So, basically, if you want to win yourself one of these keys, I have only got one, because um, I bought that. If the developers wanted to give me some more, that would be awesome. And of course, I would give them uh, away again on another video. But, um, yeah, if you want to win a Project... Uh, I keep calling it Project Tilt. <laughs> if you want to win a Hollow Drive Steam key, what you need to do is watch this video, like the video, and just comment underneath. Um, what we're going to do, again, I'm not going to announce that this is a giveaway. Okay, so if you want this, just make a comment. Don't mention you're entering the giveaway. Just put, well, I don't know. Comment whatever you want. But as if you made a comment, you entered into a video, a giveaway to get it. So, okay. Right then, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Always like, subscribe, and comment if you've got any questions. And I'll see you in my next video. All right, cheers, guys.